Hello guys, welcome back to another Fallout Shelter video. So in this video, we're going to be discussing what gifts Bottle and Cappy bring when they visit your vault. So first off, the only way to get Bottle and Cappy is to complete the limited time quest. Now once you find Bottle and Cappy, they will begin to visit your vault regularly. Now Bottle and Cappy don't just visit your vault one time, they do visit on a regular basis, but only when you get them. So once they visit your vault, you'll immediately notice the happiness of your vault increase. So if you check my vault's happiness before they show up, it's around 84%. But after Bottle and Cappy visit, now my happiness is at 97%. That being said, it seems like the happiness increase is not permanent, meaning once you close your game or once Bottle and Cappy leave your vault, your happiness will revert back to its original state. So that's kind of one of the gifts that Bottle and Cappy do bring when they do visit your vault. So next off, we're going to talk about Bottle. So if you follow Bottle throughout the vault, he will eventually start dancing. And if you tap him when he's dancing, he gives you one of two things. He either gives you one Nuka-Cola Quantum, or he gives you some caps. Now whether Bottle gives you Nuka-Cola Quantum or caps is completely random. For example, the first time I clicked Bottle, he only gave me caps. And then on his second visit, I clicked on Bottle and he gave me one Nuka-Cola Quantum. So Bottle does give out Nuka Cola Quantums, but don't be worried if he gives you caps. Because eventually in the future, he will give you Nuka Cola Quantum once you tap him when he's dancing. So next up is Cappy. So Cappy seems to be more jolly compared to Bottle. We're here to make sure you have F -U -N fun. Also when Cappy dances, he usually does the moonwalk. So unlike Bottle, Cappy only gives you caps and not Nuka Cola Quantums. So Cappy gives you around 100 or more caps. So when Bottle and Cappy do visit your vault, it's best to follow Bottle because he does give out Nuka Cola Quantums instead of Cappy. That being said, Cappy actually dances more often. For example, every visit, Cappy dances around like 2 to 3 to 4 times, while Bottle only dances like 1 to 2 times per vault visit. Now, Bottle and Cappy don't immediately show up at your vault. Sometimes they do, but most of the times they take a couple of minutes to actually show up to your vault. So once opening your game up, it usually takes around 3-5 to five minutes, maybe even more, for Bottle and Cappy to actually visit your vault. Now, in one instance, it actually took about 10 minutes for Bottle and Cappy to actually show up at my vault. So for some of you guys, Bottle and Cappy might show up in like the first 4 minutes of you opening the game. But for others, it might take more than 10 minutes for Bottle and Cappy to actually show up at your vault. So some people said that Bottle and Cappy can only visit your vault once a day. But that's not true because Bottle and Cappy can actually visit your vault more than once in one day. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that when Bottle and Cappy do visit your vault, they usually stay for around 3 to 5 minutes. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. So make sure to do those limited time quests. So I'm going to show you what the limited time quests look like. So they're the purple colored quests and there's about 5 quests in total so once you finish all the 5 quests, Bottle and Cappy will actually start visiting your vault. So that being said, they're limited time so that means they're probably not going to be there forever and once they're gone, you probably aren't going to be able to get Bottle and Cappy anymore. So just make sure to do those before they're gone. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like the video if you did, subscribe for more Fallout Shelter content and I'll see you guys in the next video.